Do you feel any sense of, and I've heard you talk about Instagram filters, so there's kind of yeah. that beat on the street with it, but growing up in the world, I mean, you know, there were painstaking measures you took to fall into this cookie cutter silhouette. It's like we put ourselves, we elected to be in a business that has some really screwed up values at times, but is there a sense of relief in going, yeah, I'm not perfect. I don't fit oh, the yeah. mold and screw it. I'm, t I'm so sick of living trying to pretend I do. It actually was killing me. So in order to save myself, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And if you can like me for that, then great. Yes, you nailed it. That like if <laughs> that's the perfect like sound bite for my documentary and why I put it out <laughs> was like exactly that it was like I was trying something that didn't work for me. Now I'm doing something that is working for me and instead of you know uh instead of feeling judged by everyone, I'm just going to say look, your opinion about me doesn't matter to me. I'm doing what I need to do for myself um, and my wellness, my well-being. Like, I'm putting myself first in front of my career, and that's something I never did before because I was so preoccupied trying to be the sexy feminine pop star um, that I just, like, ignored, um, like, who I am. I don't know. I cut my hair because I just wanted to free myself of all of the gender and sexuality norms that were placed on me as a, you know, Christian in the South. Mm -hmm. um, and when I cut my hair, I felt so liberated because I wasn't, I wasn't subscribing to an ideal or a belief placed upon me to be something that I'm not. And now that I'm owning who I am, like I feel the happiest I've ever felt. And and that's a te that's that's because I'm being honest. You know, secrets keep you sick. I've heard that a million times and I and I fully believe it. Now there's nothing there's no secrets for the world to find out. Like I just put it out there and I'm like, "Hey, this is this is it. This is me. If you don't like it, fine. But if this provokes a conversation and raises awareness, takes away the stigma about the topics I'm talking about, then that's what I want, is to just open people's perspectives and to change the conversation around recovery, too. When you talk about secrets, something that really touched me personally in the documentary was at a certain point in my life when I did start kind of getting overconfident about where I was at with, like, my drinking and things, I did start to hide things from people and I noticed you were really good at hiding things from people. Mm -hmm. Like they would say they don't know, like they didn't know. And you're like, but you were even there that night. You were there that day. How did you not know? And I was curious, thank God, like I have some friends who, although I thought I was good at hiding things, they are extremely tough love oriented people. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of the ways, they were good karmatic compensation for all the Hollywood people who did not put you in your place, indulged, gave you access, and never would say a thing because, God forbid, they got cut out of your orbit. Some of my best, best friends are people, you know, they're not in the industry. And, yep. um, and it's really fun because I, they are so down to earth, so chill that um, I find myself gravitating towards them over other industry people because yeah, um, because my friend, like I came home one day, I'd done like interview, I'm living with one of my best friends and- um, uh, So fun. Was, yeah, totally. Well, I was just in a like, I was engaged to a, a dude and almost did that. And I was like, mm, that's not the life for me. Like, I wanna have fun and I wanna live with my friends. Like, let's normalize that, you know? And so anyways, uh, I, I Debbie, just- if I didn't have two children, I would actually <laughs> ask you if you wanted to be roommates because- some, Wow, I'd say yes in a heartbeat. <laughs> my, some of my happiest moments in my yeah. life 
are mm. without question. And I moved out on my own when I was 14, so I banked a lot of years with right. roommates, my girlfriends. It is some of the happiest times of my life yeah. is living with my friends. I wouldn't be surprised. Totally. Or I invite all of them to like go back to it at some point. Like, should we not just all end up in a happy <laughs> commune anyway? Yeah, definitely. She so I was I came home one day after doing like interviews and photo shoots and whatnot, and she was like, Hey Demi, so you've been doing rock star all day. You wanna do some normal <laughs> I was like, yes, that's what I want. And then we put on Grey's Anatomy and The Walking Dead, and it was, it was over from there. That is good. Absolutely.